Hi. In this video, we're going to review a new Cilium feature, which is called EPGP multi-hop. And that feature is coming with Cilium 114. And EPGP multi-hop has been around for quite a long time, but we see it, it's only just now coming to Cilium. Um, and to explain it, you have to go back to the origins of BGP. Uh, initially, um, uh, BGP peering uh, was either done internally, that would be IBGP, or will be done externally between the said two different companies. And the expectation is that uh, there will be a router in for the organization that has an autonomous system, say 65010, and I would set up an external BGP peering with a company in a different autonomous system, 65011. Uh, but then these two devices will be directly connected, like point to point, right? And there would be there was no expectation that traffic would somehow hop through a network and that was primarily due for like security reasons that uh, we didn't want bgp updates to travel through the network um so really if you had to connect uh set up an ebgp peering it had to be between two directly connected devices turn out that uh very quickly that uh, we had requirements for uh, EPGP across multiple uh, hops, um, and um, that's where EPGP multi-hop came along. Now, to enforce the EPGP standard EPGP behavior where you had to have directly connected devices, the way it was done was typically to use a TTL, time to leave, in the IP field um, to uh, set a TTL to one so that the EBGP packet with a TTL of one will be processed by the next device, and then that will go down to TTL zero and traffic will be dropped, right? Because that's the time to leave. Uh, and that was really to enforce, uh, to, to prevent EBGP peering updates to, to go beyond the next device. Um, and the way we support EBGP multi-hop and the ability to set external BGP peering between hops that are not directly connected is to increase uh, the time to leave. And with Cilium, you'll be able to set a TTL, for example, to 10. And as it gets processed, the TTL will go to none. And this time, you will be able to set up that BGP session. So let's have a look at the demo. We're going to be using Wireshark uh, to anticipate them to kind of capture the traffic and show you the TTL increased uh, using EBGP multi-hop with Cilium. So let's get started. Uh, I'm actually using a new lab. So let's get started with the demo. So um, we're going to uh, uh, connect to our Cilium agent to just capture some TCP uh, traffic on port 179, which is BGP updates. And um, we've got, uh, let's have a quick look, we've got Cilium BGP uh, PR session is up and running, it's established, it's working fine. Uh, but again, if uh, to show that we can set up eBGP multi-hop, we're going to increase um, the TTL. But right now, this is my peering policies. I have not enabled EBGP multi-hop yet. And let's go and capture the traffic. There's no, there's no multi-hop. We are capturing the traffic from Cilium. Um, and very quickly, we're going to you know, see some updates and we're going to look at the TTL. So let's have a look. Um, and you can see that's my, you know, my PGP messages. Um, and if you look at the IP packet here, you see the time to leave is set to one. Again, that's the expectation. It's between two EBGP peers. Uh, again, that works fine, uh, but that doesn't work if you want to set up a, a external PGP peer sessions between two remotely connected uh, devices. So we're going to, well, let's close this. 
and we are going to edit the BGP peering policy and let's save it and we're going to set a TTL to, to 10. Going to he applies his uh, BGP pairing policy, and let's go and uh, I can capture the traffic uh, in a different uh, PCAP file. And again, just take a few seconds to uh, capture the, the, the keep alive packets, and let's open. Wow. Uh, let's have a look at the TTL and here we go, right? So we've set the time to leave on the uh, BGP packet to 10. And again, this means that the packet can tran that travels a number of hops. And let me see, every time you cover, you you reach a hop, the TTL will decrease, but that should be enough to reach um, uh, most of the, the hops you want to, to peer with. So again, just a quick feature update on a new Cydian 114 uh, feature. And I hope you found this video useful. Thanks very much for watching.